पर उपस्थित स्थल पर पहुंचे ऐसा मेरा आग्रह है श्री मान टी आर बालू साहब सर फ्रॉम 1962 सिक्सटी टू ऑनवर्स दीएम के नाउ प्रसारित बाय द हॉनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ तमिलनाडु डॉक्टर एम के स्टालिन has been part of all historical discussion in this house and also in the other house sir do call it this is the special session there is nothing special about it just yet another session the new parliament building has been constructed at an enormous cost without a felt need money has been carved carved out by government when there is so much of financial crunch now parliament house inaugurated with much fun and fire but why the last session was not held was it due to any vast consideration or any other any only today you could find the auspicious moment more than auspicious time what is needed is an auspicious agenda of business which argues well for the well-being of peace progress and happiness of 143 crore people this session in new premises seems not to be a social session but an emergency session or to carry out certain urgent mission of the ruling party to fulfill certain ulterior objects only in violation of democratic norms this sitting will take stock of india's journey as an independent nation we got independence in 1947 the 75th year of celebration fell last year in 2022 we have already stepped in into 76th year if at all any special event has to take place of the long journey it has been done it should have been done last year itself okay even accepting the while that we are commanding our 76 75th year parliament such a special sitting should have been done in the historic parliament house where the country's destiny was decided further further nurtured and renewed in 1947 india our country our dear nation the largest and vibrant democracy in the world is today because of the invaluable contributions of firstly of the people of the country then comes to the political parties and the leaders who steered government for the majority of the time that is for the past 6 years government of india was run by parties other than the parent other than the present party the strong base of the modern india the develop india was laid by six decades of planned work done by several leaders starting from jawaharlal nehru nehru ji the light of asia contributions of prime ministers lal bahadur shastri ji indira gandhi ji moraji desai ji chaudhary charan singh ji young prime minister leader rajiv gandhi ji and narasimha rao are great indeed tower of strength of the backward class masses who constitute more than 60% vp singh ensured social justice to them which was denied to those marginalized fourth level people so called sutras his contribution is immense and very invaluable it will stand out and shine in our modern history of progress his government was pulled down with vengeance by force of enemical the empowerment of weaker section leaders and their parties who led the country with a lot of sagacity and forcefulness what whenever there was political instability when single party majority had and mainstream parties it was like saving and protecting star, standard person it happened in 1989 96 98 99 2004 2014 and 2014. the leaders who came to the rescue of the national nation at critical times were deva gowda ik gujral atul bihari vajbhai ji and dr manmohan singh ji the political leaders who played a great role then uh, dmk leader uh, dr kanya karnani ji ntr george fernandez kamish party like indrajit gupta somnath chatterjee sujit singh when we look back at the seventy years the contribution of these star leaders is great and needs special mention the contribution of opposition parties mostly of the regional parties like dmk the national politics and governance have a special place this constructive opposition criticism 
and suggestions have helped the government from time to time take corrective measures because they have represented the regional interest and in linguistically, linguistically minority population groups. DMK in parliament since 1962. Our founder leader Anna, who was in hell, high esteem by his contemporary leader Nehruji, Vajbaiji and others, spoke for the political rights of states, protect, protection and development of various classical languages like Tamil, though they advocate the he advocated a separate draft in 1962. When a Chinese force was asked, he felt the territorial integrity of India was of paramount importance. Though Anna gave up the draft in order, he claimed loud, loud the essence for a separate nation still existed. That way, it was sagacious advice of central government. After all, India is a union of states. That is the constitutional position. Five, six, six principal states and kingdoms, including large countries like Kashmir, Hyderabad, small kingdom like Pudukote, Tamil Nadu, joined the letter, joined letter with the independent India. Sikkim was the last to join in Indian form. In, in the last 75 years, promises, promises, give, promises given to its members, state and just aspiration of the people of the state, with way and culture traditions have been broken by Union India, Union of India. The latest example is repeal of Article 370 and snatching away the special status of Jammu and Kashmir, like rubbing, rubbing salt on the sea's wound that large states have now been broken into two union territories, whereby the emotions and rights of the people of Kashmir have been trampled upon. While, twic, while looking back India's 75 years, patting our backs and claiming credit to the impressive performers like Chandrayaan, by individual leaders and parties is not appropriate. The success we have seen so far is success of one part of the crowds of people of this country. Without their support, strength, labor, and commitment, nothing is possible. What we have really introspect is the failures we have faced in 75 years. These failures are the result of the broken promises, as in Kashmir, Manipur, Tamil Nadu, and other states. Union of India should go extra mile to get full for confidence of the people of states and fulfill the regional aspiration in terms of secularism, equal rights for development, linguistic, political, and democratic rights. While mentioning about the crucial role played by DMK party in ensuring stability and national government at the center, I have tell you about the support extended to Indraji government in 1969 and Vajbhaji government in 1999. After vertical split support by Congress in 1969, the Indraji government lost majority. It becomes a minority government. This happened after leader Anna has passed away in 1969. Congress was not our friend then. But when matter, matter, matter to our great leader Kalingar, who succeeded Anna, as chief minister and president of DMK was stability of the Union of India, still the scarce of 1962 war, was, war, war with China was still paining us. Therefore, Kalingar decided with a clear vision to support Indraji with our 26 members in Lok Sabha, with our continued support, she was able to bring the revolutionary policy measures like abolition of privy funds, nationalism, nationalization of banks, and the other poverty alleviation program. Anna, a good friend of Adalji, after a very long political struggle, he was able to lead BJP to power in center 1998. It was a feeble, ragtag coalition with, his, with a particular party. Poor Vajbhaji, a gentleman leader, was carrying on with his government, as he said in Tamil, Nithya Gandam Purna Ais, daily death, threat by alive, alive still. This was the condition of Vajbhaji government. The government was in ICU for 13 months. She was gifting, gifting, the, gifting life to Vajbhaji government on a daily basis. What a pity, ultimately she pulled out and government fell at 13th month in March 1999, and the confidence motion in Lok Sabha, DMK supported Prime Minister Vajbhaji, but he lost by one vote. In the subsequent election, we supported Vajbhaji's candidature for the Prime Minister, because as, as I said, he was a gentleman politician, a statesman, and above that, he did not have animosity towards all minorities. He willingly agreed to common minimum program with alliance partners. He stuck to Raj Dharma, not only that, Vajbhai has asked his other leaders in his party 
to stick to Ajay Ma. He was able to complete his full term as Prime Minister with the precision and cope. Work run, test, and target victory was possible because of severity of Ajay's government with the DMK support and our leader Dr. Kalangir's support was the main reason. The present ruling party should revisit the pages of India's recent history and refresh itself with these important moments and appreciate how DMK has played a respectable role in providing stable government at the centre, sir. In the building of the motion, uh, modern India, the role of former young Prime Minister Thir Rajiv Gaji has also has an exceptional place. In fact, he is the father of the so-called digital India. His confidence and involvement of the people of village level resulted in Panjaj Rajak and the empowerment of rural people, people's representative, his sacrifice of his life in pursuit of public services unparalleled in Indian history, sir. With this, I thank you for having given this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shri Sudeep Bandhu Ji.